Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about one of the common features we may use in the switch. It calls DHCP. The DHCP function will give the IP address connecting to the switch. Let's say if I just connect this MacBook to this L2 Plus PoE switch, this switch will assign the IP address to this MacBook. Not only just the IP address, but the subnet, the IP address of the gateway automatically. So I don't need to manually configure this MacBook to fill in the IP address. The DHCP is a very common feature. It's even available in the router or the modem. But in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the difficult situations. Let's say now we have the edge switch and this edge switch is being connected to this code switch. I also want to have the DHCP function from this edge switch. So how we can get this work? Now let's get started. This is the 4 port PoE power switch. This switch can receive the PoE power from this code switch. So there's no need for power source around this switch. Meanwhile, this switch still can send the PoE power for the IP cameras or access points. It's very handy too to expand the network or reuse the k 5 or k 6 Ethernet cable to increase the RJ45 network port. So how we can get the DHCP function by using this kind of edge switch? You see, in the same subnet, usually we will just maintain single DHCP server which will be this code switch in our case. We don't, have two, we don't use two DHCP server, otherwise two devices may get in the same IP address. So this edge switch, it need to work as the DHCP client. It need to pass the requirement, the DHC, DHCP requirement and send to this code switch and also received the DHCP data package from this code switch and set to this, like this MacBook. Actually, there's no need to set up anything because this, so this switch, edge switch, already has the DHCP client built in. It's been enabled automatically. But just one thing to remind, we do have two version PoE power switch. This is the A port PoE power switch and this is the four port PoE power switch. Only this 4-port PoE power switch has this DHCP function built in, also the VLAN function. The 8-port PoE power switch doesn't have the DHCP or the VLAN, it's the unmanaged switch. Okay, now let's move to the MacBook and let me explain how we can get the DHCP function. First, we need to plug the cable. This is the cable is connecting to the MacBook. Alright, let me record the screen so we can see everything clear. Now let's go to the network setting of the MacBook. And I will need to turn on the DHCP function of the MacBook. Okay, this is the network MCI network card of this MacBook. Now it's being set to manual. I will need to using the using DHCP. Now we click apply. And this is the IP address we, this MacBook received. It's assigned by the code server. Alright, it's pretty much very straightforward. As long as we turn on the DSGCP function of this MacBook, then the MacBook will send the required to this PoE power switch, this four port, four ports PoE power switch. We pass the required to this code switch, and the code switch will assign the IP address to this MacBook. But there's still one small thing. You see now. This MacBook is getting the IP address automatically from this code switch. 
What if we also want this edge switch itself also can obtain the IP address from this code switch automatically? This web edge switch has the web browser built in. We do have the default IP address. The IP address is 192.168.2.1. Then we can log in to see the web browser. But the problem is, if we turn on the DHCP function of this edge switch, which means the IP address will be you change. You no longer access the web browser browser by using the default IP address. So how we can get the new IP address this DHCP client received from this code switch there are two methods the first method is we can log into this code switch and looking for the DHCP pool and try to figure out which IP address this DHCP server has assigned to this edge switch the second method is we can use the backup IP address of this PoE power switch so how to find the backup IP address to log in the browser of this PoE power switch because this backup IP address is not going to change. Then we need to rely on the MAC address of this edge switch. Usually we can find the MAC address on the label at the back. We need the last three digits of the MAC address. As this MAC address is present as, the, as a decimal, so we need to convert the hexadecimal to the decimal. I'm not going to show you how to convert because we can find a lot of online converter. Then we can got the decimal percent the IP address. Okay, now let's move to the MacBook again. I also will record the screen. So the IP address of this edge switch is 10.224.18.31. Then you also need to configure manually configure the IP address of this MacBook. So I just set this IP address to 10.224.18.51. And the subnet master is 255.0.0.0 Okay Now we can log into this web browser of this edge switch Then we move to the IP settings Then here we click the enable Now we go back to the home page Okay This edge switch just receive the IP address from the code switch. So now not only that this MacBook support the DHCP, this edge switch itself also support DHCP. All the device connecting to this edge switch is going to receive the IP address from this code switch automatically. And this edge switch itself also will receive the IP address from this code switch automatically all right that's all for today's video if you have any question please just send us the comment below thanks for watching